What's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm Odinocity and we are working on the R1 today on our quest to get this thing looking fly AF and completely blacked out. Uh, we've done a lot of work to this. If you wanna see any of the videos, you can check out the playlist link down in the description. But today, today, we are putting on the Louis Moto seat cover. You guys know I love my Louis Moto seat covers. You guys can see the one that I have on the S1000 right here. Super, super nice. Aside from the S1000, I love doing custom seat covers on all my bikes. And this one is uh, no different. We got a custom look that we're gonna be going on this but of course it's gonna be completely blacked out because that's the quest that we have on this bike before we get to that I want to let you guys know you guys can win my MT-09 every five dollars spent over at motodossi.com gets you an entry into winning we're gonna be doing a lot of cool stuff to this bike really really fast a lot of things that I had planned so far of course we got the Leo Vinci exhaust on there the ECU flash the air mods but we're gonna be doing complete changes on this bike to make it something super super nice that I can give away to you guys so check the motodossi.com link down in the description get you guys some merch every five dollars gets you an entry into winning this bike now let's take a look at what we're gonna be putting on this bike because I don't just have the seat cover uh, Louis Moto sent a few other things as well if you're interested in getting a seat cover or something else Louis Moto has been a big supporter of the channel for a long time they're a sponsor for me now they just came out with a seat cover that you can put over your very very nice seat cover you got a seat cover for your seat cover so you can put a little cover on it if you know you're gonna be washing it or it's gonna be getting wet in any uh, form or fashion so we got that and then I think they also sent a pair of their tank leaves which are like tank grips but like cushioned so let's take a look by the way i got a new lens so lens change in three two one what do you think? This is not going to be like the lens I use all the time, but I also wanted something that was really, really versatile for like when I'm traveling and stuff and I want a lens that can literally do everything. So this is a 28 to 200 lens from Tamron. Look at this. Huh? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's crazy, bro. A couple months ago, I had a sponsor for one of my videos and you guys showed so much support that they slid back in my DMs for another spot on the channel and you guys know I'm talking about Raid Shadow Legends, the turn-based RPG free-to-play game for mobile and PC that everyone has tried out. Well, here's another chance if you've been procrastinating. Go download Raid yourself from my links down in the description. In Raid, there are 16 different factions such as orcs, dwarves, undead hordes, and more with over 500 different champions. If you scroll over here to the index screen, you can find them all there. Each faction has a bunch of these champions you can train up to do your bidding. Now, I've showed you guys the Seeker a lot in the past plugs that I've done for Raid, but I've been really hyped on this guy lately. A freaking hound spawn. I don't know how they come up with these. I really don't. Now, last month, Raid released their biggest update ever, and the main event here is the Doom Tower, a giant tower with over 124s, secret challenge rooms, some real nasty bosses to take on, and they got some new freebies to get you started if you're new. You got the Void Champion Bull War, 50 gems, an XP booster, energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in the game. All this will be waiting for you right here in the game, and these will only be available for 30 days, so you gotta act fast. So click those links down in the description to check out Raid Shadow Legends. By clicking those links, Links and supporting my sponsors, you guys help support the channel. Now let's get to the install. By the way, sorry if the audio was absolutely terrible for the beginning of this video. I just realized I had my gain turned all the way up on my microphone. Hopefully that's fixed now. Let's see what we've got in the box. I mentioned that we're gonna be doing more than just a seat cover. You know, on the past two bikes that I've done, uh, I did a gel insert. They have their premium gold gel. Really, really improves feel of the seat a lot more comfortable than your stock foam. We've got their new weather protector. Then here is their tank leaf product. Like I said, this is like a uh, tank grip. Um, so you put it on the tank where your legs are and it just adds a lot more grip. It's got some nice clean black. It's got like a that carbon fiber um, edging around it. And then of course, we got the seat cover. Let me take a look at the seat cover that we have on here. Like I said, I did a custom design on this. This is the one that I had made for the R1, and I'm really, really excited for this. Here is the design. We've got this really nice um, kind of uh, shifted line, uh, horizontal line pattern going across it. 
Then we have the carbon fiber look around the edges. And then right where your legs would kind of cut in, we've got their, uh, their grip material. But they always have this padding on here. So even if you don't do a gel insert on your seat, you're still gonna be getting additional padding compared to just your standard cover. Cause the standard cover is just like a piece of vinyl. But this combined with the foam that comes with the gold gel, plus the gold gel underneath, that whole combination just makes it one of the most comfortable and sleek uh, sport bike seats that you can get. We got Modernosity in the Modernosity font right here. So I'm really, really excited to put this on. It's a very wide seat, but apparently it's a very shallow foam. So it'll be interesting when I do the gold gel install. They warned me, they said, just be careful, but everything should be good. If you wanna get any of this stuff, you can check out the links down in the description, but let's get to it. So something I really wanted to highlight for you guys is what you're gonna be working with underneath the seat and therefore what tools you need for the job. I do seat covers fairly often and I still only have a handheld staple gun. I borrowed one from Motivation last time because the seat on the S1000 is just so compact and the area where you have to actually staple the seat cover to the actual like seat pan is so small that it was impossible to use a manual staple gun. This seat, however, and every other seat that I had done before was uh, completely flat. So this is actually the most space that I've ever had on a seat cover to work with. So here's the manual staple gun I have. And when you put it on the seat, it sits flat against this. So you can actually get the staples really easily into the seat. I'll link what I use down in the description and my suggested air powered uh, staple gun if you need it. But the seat on my S1000 was the only seat I've ever had to use one of those really, really nice uh, air powered staple guns for. step though is to do the gold gel on the seat. Now, Louis Moto told me that the seat on this R1 was pretty thin and they were not lying. It's gonna be interesting. Here is the gold gel that Louis Moto sells that you can get with uh, your seat cover if you want to. It comes with this so you can cut it to the shape of your seat. And then it also comes with this really, really nice thick foam that you're gonna put on top of the seat. So once you actually cut out the shape from your stock foam, you put in the gold gel, uh, you're gonna wrap your seat in this new foam. It's gonna get rid of any of the creases where the gold gel meets the foam from your seat. And it's gonna add an additional layer of cushion on your seat. I'm, I'm telling you, once you have this whole setup, it feels incredible. So the foam on this really is incredibly thin, um, but there are some main parts where it's really, really thin. So here at the rear, there's like um, a couple of ridges right here 
um, and then throughout the side, and then there's another like really main ridge right here, and it's kind of it's kind of sharp. I'm surprised that <laughs> you don't actually feel this when you sit on the seat because this is like really sharp right here. This is a. Uh, what I've got, what I've learned is that you really don't have to be super perfect with what you do here. You just gotta get it as smooth as you can reasonably get because once you get the gel on here and then once you put the foam on top, you're not gonna feel any of this. got the gold gel in there. Like I said, this foam is so thin, so the gel does stick out a little bit. I think this is gonna be the ultimate test for you guys that are concerned about cutting into your foam and you don't wanna mess up. With every other foam that I've done, the gold gel install on, I've made sure that it's completely flush or as flush as I can possibly get it. Um, so this will be a good test. Remember, you can always take out more foam, unless of course you have the R1C, <laughs> but you can't put foam back in. So let's go ahead and uh, move on to the, uh, the foam cover step. Next step before we put the actual seat cover on is putting on this uh, plastic water barrier. And this is just gonna go over the whole seat. It's gonna wrap around just like this foam did and uh, it's gonna just keep any sort of water from coming in and getting trapped in here. So here is the rear seat, I assume. I don't know what else it would be. And they do include a strap, but I always leave it off. And just like the front, we've got a moisture barrier that we can put on underneath the seat cover that I have right here. So we've got the faux carbon around the sides, and then we have the kind of suede material and the hole for where the uh, keyhole will go is already pre-cut. That looks freaking good. It's just incredible what uh, what a nice seat does for how you know high quality a bike looks. That's nice. All right, so I got Louis Moto's Tank Leaf now that we're gonna be putting on, and of course they're you know 
made to fit. So this is the one for the R1. All right, so what we're gonna do first is clean off the surface where we're gonna be installing it. Um, just generously with some isopropyl alcohol. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, spray the area with a good amount there. This is just gonna make sure that we get all sort of like uh, debris, grease, anything that's gonna interfere with the 3M backing that we have on the tank leaf. Now that we have that cleaned off, I can go ahead and just position this and I can outline where that's gonna be. And what I always like to do with any sort of adhesive, I, I mentioned this when I did my helmet setup video, I always heat it up before laying it down. Heat it up. Now this is not only going to make it stick better, but it's gonna allow us to kind of form this to wherever we're sticking it to a little bit better than we would if it was completely cold. Line it with all my tape marks. I'm gonna get all this tape out of the way. While it's still warm, press this down everywhere for at least a minute. All right, that is on there. I'm gonna leave that there. Move on to the top of the right side. Hold that in place for another minute. Right side done. I'll just take care of the left side and then we'll uh, take a look. We have the completed look. Um, I'm really excited to try out this, see how it feels. Obviously the look is not gonna be for everyone. Um, I think on some bikes it probably will work a little bit better because it looks more like something luxurious and comfortable than it does something super aggressive. But yeah, I'm excited to try it out and see what it looks like out in the sunlight. If you wanna check out any of this, I'll link all of it down in the description, the tank leafs, the seat covers. If you buy through the links down in the description, it helps me and the channel out. I get a little bit of kickback, no extra cost to you guys. And if you send me a screenshot of your order along with a picture of it installed onto your bike, I'll go ahead and send you out a reservoir cover, no cost, absolutely free. Last thing I wanna leave with, leave you with is the uh, new rain covers that they have. They come in these little pouches. So this is the main seat. This is like an awkward angle, but I think it actually folds into itself. I'm gonna go put you guys on the tripod. This is weird. All right, let's, let's try this out. So. This R1 seat is the uh, fattest seat that I've ever had on a bike. Here we go. Not bad. You just want to protect your bike when it's raining if you drive, if you ride it to work or something like that and you have to leave it outside or if you wanna wash your bike, that's what it's for. So that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out, make sure you leave uh, a like on the video, leave a comment. If you got any questions, I'll do my best to, che uh, to check them and to answer them for you guys. If you wanna buy any of this, it'll all be linked down in the description. And if you wanna get any of my merch, it is at modernosity.com. Link is also in the description. You guys have been awesome. I've been Modernosity. Remember, life's better with horsepower. Keep life lived. I'll see you guys in the next one.